Hey guys, this is Suraj here from Supertech 007 and in this video, let's review the Omni-ROM Trex mod on the OnePlus 6. So, let's begin. So, this is the Omni-ROM Trex mod. I have been using this ROM since the past 6 days and here is my review of this ROM. So, let me go to settings and show you what features does the Omni-ROM have, Omni-ROM Trex mod have. Now, if we go to style and you have a list of several themes available. So you can select any theme. So if I apply this, if you just tap this, it will apply that theme and it will restart the system UI, I guess. And as you can see, everything is greened out now. Even the notification, sorry, even the brightness slider is turned to green now. So if you go to Omni Gears and we have the device specific features here, which is the OnePlus specific features which has an oxygen os so if you go to device actions here as you can see there are the oneplus gestures the screen of gestures so you can you have additional options as well so this is a good thing then if you go to ambient display you also have ambient display so if you if i switch off the screen and i unlock if i switch off the screen and i move it as you can see the display lights up this is also a good feature to have then you can enable OTG support as well. This is available in Oxygen OS 2. You can adjust the strength of the vibrator mo vibration motor. Then you can configure the alert slider here. Then you can also enable high brightness mode. What this does is this max out your brightness. So if you are in outdoors and if you just tap the button, it will activate the high brightness mode. And here are the panel modes. So you can select a variety of options from here. These are also available in the Oxygen OS. You can use sRGB mode, adaptive mode, OnePlus mode, and you can select any one which you like. Now if I go to buttons, here I can disable the navigation bar as well. So if I tap this, it will hide the navigation bar. I cannot bring it up now, but there is also OnePlus gestures here. So if you go to gestures and you switch this on you will be able to use the oneplus gestures like then swipe up to get to home swipe up and hold to uh, get to the recent apps and if you swipe back swipe from the left or right it will go back now if i go to buttons so this we have checked now if we go to bars so these are all the status bar options that you can configure here we have the network traffic status bar monitor which appears here when you have a data connection you can also you can also hide the notch area so it will hide the notch as it does on oxygen os if i go back you can also tune the battery settings the led settings basically so you can tweak from these settings whatever you like you can also enable the fast charging color as well so that you can know your device is fast charging without even needing to you know unlock the screen then we have the system UI tuner here. We have a lot of options here. If you go to quick settings, we have these options. If we go to status bar, we can hide which icons we don't want on the status bar. You have also have do not disturb options. You have ambient display. You can always, so this is basically the always on display. I don't recommend using it because it will drain a lot of battery. Then you can go to lock screen. So this is the pretty basic stuff. If I go to more, these are all the other options I have. And yeah, these are all the different features. It also has the digital well-being app. So this is a pretty good thing. So these are all the features of the Omniron Trex mod. Now, I will be giving you my review, my final verdict on whether you should use this ROM or not. As I have been using this ROM for six days, here is my review of the ROM. So the first con of this ROM is the battery. So when your phone is idle and when you keep it overnight without even switching the data on, uh, this ROM drains at least 10% every night. The maximum that drain I have got is 20%, which is a bit of a bummer because this should not happen. And it's just a battery optimization issue. Hopefully the developer will fix this in the next update. You know, the developer is pretty active and he gives weekly updates so as of shooting this video 
This is the bug that I found. The second major drawback of this ROM is the camera. Don't get me wrong, the camera is, works fine, but there are many times when your phone just hangs while using the camera. Even if you are using an app like Skype, uh, IMO, or even WhatsApp, sometimes the phone just hangs, you cannot do anything. You just have to restart the phone. You have to press the power button for about 10 seconds, then it restarts. This is a very big issue because if you want to capture a moment and your phone hangs, you should you do not want that, right? So I recommend not flashing this ROM as of now. Other than these issues, the ROM is pretty smooth. Uh, gaming is also perfect, but it's just that these two are the main bugs. Hopefully this will be ironed out in a software update. So that's it in this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want me to cover more ROMs, subscribe to my YouTube channel because more such videos like this are going to come in the near future. Until next time, this is Surajia signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye now.